Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report, and tonight we are at the 2019 Annie Awards. Hi. Hi. Thank you for waiting. It was so crazy. Oh, pleasure. <laughs> All right, so you, you do a lot of voiceover yourself. I do. I do. Tell us about the, the hardest thing that people don't realize, because they I think everyone thinks you show up in your pajamas, you're in a booth, you don't have to worry about anything. It's not that easy. I think, I think the thing that people don't take into account is bringing characters to life. Um, because, and like people will say, well, I have a good voice, or people say I have a great voice, but you can have a great voice, but like, for instance, if you can do a little high pitched voice that sounds cartoony, so if you can do a little high pitched voice that sounds cartoony, but if you just keep doing that voice after a while, it just gets boring and irritating. Whereas if you bring life into the voice, so say that becomes a little girl, there's a character I do for a video game series called Persona. She's a very peppy little So all of a sudden I use the same voice, but 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 but, but she's she loves her big brother and you can really feel in her heart how much she loves her big brother. So you can feel that there's like a difference between that monotone, interesting voice and then Bringing, bringing heart and soul and, and, and a joy play and a joy and play and fantasy to it. Well, and I think what people forget, it's an acting job. And so I think people just think, I got a good voice for radio, I got a good voice for voiceover. No, you also have to be an actor. Yes, yes. And and that's and that's I think what why when people watch cartoons or animate animation or people want to travel. They want they want their heart to be touched, they want to laugh. And you know, all of that acting is bringing a character's soul to life, even if it's an animated character. Do you think we'll ever see the day where an actor who's voiced an animated character will be nominated for an Oscar, where it's, maybe it's its own category? I think so. Yeah. I, think, I think that animation is really so popular and coming more to more to life. Um, I think absolutely that's possible. I hope so. I hope so too. Yeah. All right, and what is your favorite um, character that you've played? Oh, oh voiceover it's a, it's a hard question because all my characters are my babies. Yes. Um, I Actually, Resident Evil, a big video game, has just come out, and I play the evil Dr. Annette Birkin, one of the lead characters, and she, she might not be my favorite, but I have a real affection for her because I find that um, I was directed by Tom Keegan, who's a wonderful motion capture director and video game director. And he really helped bring out the complexity of her. So I'm really enjoying that right now. Um, uh, I love playing Melina and Katana in, um, in uh, Mortal Kombat. And I'm in a new series called Subway Surfers right now that has like millions of hits right now on the, on the web. And it's based on a video game, but it's an animated series. And I'm very, very excited about that. I play Tricky. Fantastic. Well, so nice talking with you. Thanks for giving us the inside scoop on that. Yeah, my pleasure. Bye, you guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and in the comments below, let us know what your favorite animated feature of 2018 was.